Okay, we're going to dock for a pry bar here now. So, hours of detail, but I have everything cleaned up except for the backing plate. I'm still waiting for that to happen. Finish up the, the boil. But uh, basically got the rear control arm, the bearing assembly, the hub, the, uh, the strut mount, and the control arms, the CV shaft, and the brake drum all cleaned up and epoxy primed and painted. So take that, Rusty Ontario. And I went with silver and red on the new uh, caliper and caliper bracket. And uh, as again, uh, well, Ontario likes to rust metal, so I epoxy primed them, painted them, and put a coat of clear on them. So I don't think uh, I don't think it'll be an issue with heat or anything. Uh, I mean, these brakes are so big compared to the weight of this car now that. Uh, they probably won't even get that hot. So here we'll shoot a little epoxy primer on this backing plate that I uh, put in my wash bucket and got all the rust off it. Just got to give it a bath now. Just soak it. It's the best primer over top of bare metal. If you ever want to do a, a paint job on a car, you strip it down to bare steel and you put this primer on it and, you know, a good coat of it and then do all your body work and painting over top of it and you'll have a paint job that will, and a body job that will last a very long time and stay straight too. The black paint right over top of it. A little blaster with some hot furnace heat. That'll dry it up quick. Maybe I might put another coat of this epoxy on it to bury some of the pit. Yeah, that sealer's dry already in that furnace forcing hot air on it like that. It's just kind of tacky a little bit now, but I think that's good. I'm just going to paint it. Put lots of paint on it. Gonna hang it up in front of the furnace. Crack the furnace on. When you dry it up, I need to give it another coat. So there we go. Once the furnace turns on, that'll get baked on there. Some heat, hot air, like an air makeup system for small parts. Okay, so I got myself a backing plate. And I got some nuts. Got garbage in it. Let's take a mini grinder. Make it some room to 
clean out the crap out of the thread. So I need this piece to go back in that hole right there. And I got a little overspray in there. So I'm going to take a Brillo pad and I'm going to spin it out with a drill a little bit. There, that looks pretty good now. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of Wiener Slider, some oil on this uh, scenario here. Put some transmission fluid on it. Just kind of give it a little lube. And then we'll pop it in here. And here's the strut mount. Got that all ground down, cleaned up, and painted. Okay, well, we'll put the strut back on to start. We got the backing plate all uh, all painted, and put this whole suspension side that we took apart in the last video back together. Mill strut nuts. Ah. All tight. Okay. So I got everything back together again. The drums, the, the brake shoes are back on, and all the whole down kits are properly installed. But now I need to ratchet this back a little bit. It's too wide. That way to the ticket. There we go. There we go. All right. So that's that went on there pretty nice, but I like to just make it a little bit more tight. That's too loose. it. There we go. She's back together again. <clears throat> Put the wheel back on and I can roll it out of here. I can drive it out of here. So there we go, it's all back together again. I think it just needs a bath now and touch up a couple bolts that need some paint on them. But other than that, that's nice and clean the way I like it.